first attempt at prepping these cups for grafting. I'm taking my cups and just dipping them in some melted wax. And then I'm going to put them in this frame here. And then next week, I'll fill this up with all 30 cups. And next week, I'll try and graft. Hopefully the bees are more accepted with this little layer of wax to it. So we'll catch up with you next week. I'll let you know how we make out. I have my grafting tool here. I'm gonna attempt to pull out one of these larvae and I'll show you. Everybody has different uh, styles of doing it. This is my first attempt, so never not a hundred percent sure on how big the larvae people graph but this guy might be too big a larvae, I'm not too sure. You can see that there. I'll give it a I'll give it a whirl anyway. I got 30 queen cells here that are have new larvae in it. The only difference is, is I, uh, I did different stages of life, so we'll see what happens. And I didn't dip these cups in wax. The other frame is dipped in wax, so we'll see what the difference is. Okay guys, it's about three days after I grafted these queens, so I'm not sure what to expect here, but see what we have here. Looks like we have one queen cell being made here and possible a few others. So that's not the greatest for my first try but it's not a fail. So pretty exciting. Yay! This is the first queen that I ever had when I grafted so See right, straight down. she's right there. So I don't think she's made it yet, but hopefully back in a few days she'll be made. She'll be in again. So that was a success in my eyes, and even more when she's when she starts laying. So I'm, I'm excited. It's awesome. Hey okay, guys, this is the first hive that I split, and only queen cell that took when I grafted and you can tell the queen got mated. You can see the larvae in there. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's a nice round cluster of eggs. And the worker bees are doing their thing. So I'm super stoked. It's awesome.